Hello and welcome. My name is Amul and you are watching TubeMint. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can install WordPress on your local operating system. So local Windows 10 operating system that is my laptop. It could be installed on the desktop as well. So let's get started. The first thing first, you need the WordPress uh, CMS which is a package that you can get from wordpress.org click this get wordpress and download wordpress 6.6.2 which is the latest release and then to install wordpress locally you need php mysql or mariadb and one server it could be nginx or apache so in this video i will be using XAMPP server that comes up with WordPress uh, prerequisites so basically Apache, PHP and MySQL now once it is installed you can go ahead and get uh, XAMPP it is cross-platform from ApacheFrench.org so ApacheFrench.org this is where you can get it for Windows, Mac, and Linux, and this will give you a PHP 8.2.12, MariaDB, the latest release, and also Apache 2.4. Once you have installed, you can go ahead and run the server like this. I'm going to stop it and start it again. So start, start, okay, and then once you have started it them uh, you can simply go ahead and wait for this download to complete i already have downloaded it for you so that you do not you save your time so to save time i have downloaded it this installation the zap installation will basically might ask you to restart your operating system so wait for it and then uh, go to WordPress wherever it is installed and unzip it. So I'm going to use this 7-zip you can extract all depending on your operating system. Just unzip it, extract it and here we have WordPress 6.2.2. And within that folder, we have this WordPress. So I'm going to copy it. You can cut it. And then wherever your XAMPP is installed, go to that folder. So my XAMPP is installed in this, this PC. Uh, this is the XAMPP folder, installation folder. Within this XAMPP, you have to look for htdocs and then you can just paste that wordpress extracted folder in this in this folder and rename it so i'm going to rename it like 662 wp662 and once that is renamed now we can go ahead and close this and since we have our server running, Apache server, and we can go to localhost, and then go to word WP662, and here we have this installation script for WordPress, and just wait for this script to run. And we are good to go. Then we can go ahead and install the server. In the meanwhile, we will also require this database for this installation. So go to PHP my admin localhost PHP my admin localhost slash PHP my admin create a database. Just name it. So I'm going to say WP six two enter or just say create and you can see this has been created so 
you can see if you have any username and password so let's see uh, this is the username global privileges grant or edit privileges so we have everything here that's the root name we need and this local host so we already have we are now going to select the installation or wordpress language installation language default language already selected that is english and now we need database name which we just created so it's a 201 WP six two six six two that is our username for this installation WP six six two that's the password now simply say submit connection to database try again do we have password for okay so the password is for database not this uh, admin okay so let's see if we i do not have any password yet try again localhost and we have looks like a password so we had a password for the database that is a password on my system so it's very simple you type in the database name wp662 root and if you have a password you can enter password most of the cases if you just installed it you won't have any password i'm going to say tube mate username is going to be wp62 password i'm not going to keep this strange password here because this is my local installation your email whatever email then you can confirm the weak password and run the installation okay so that's what we have here as soon as, soon as you run the installation you will see you've got this default uh, database tables created and when you install you get 12 tables okay so that's great now you can go ahead and log in to your wordpress admin with wp62 and again uh, the password is wp662 log in and we are back in the wordpress admin area just let it load so it's running slightly slow on my system that shouldn't be the case on your system. So this is WordPress installation on this Windows 10 operating system using XAMPP server. Now, now you can go ahead and check your themes, plugins, installed plugins. And if you wish to change the theme, you can install the these downloaded or are installed uh, themes you can activate them or you can look for a new theme by clicking this plus button and also you can go ahead and preview the latest wordpress with 2024 theme this is how it looks okay so we can go ahead and install a theme let's say there are so many themes right so I'm going to install this this one this is our latest theme let's see how it looks so this is how you install a theme and then once it is installed you can go ahead and activate it so let's just wait for it and here we go let's go ahead and activate it similarly you can add a plugin so you can go to plugin and you can act, add a new plugin so let's say you are learning learning seo 
you can look for SEO plugin. SEO. You can start adding. So Yoast SEO, Rank Math. There are many SEO plugins, right? Slim SEO. On-site SEO. So this is on-site SEO. These are do these the top two SEO plugins are very popular ones and they sort of slow down your system. So you don't want to use top SEO plugins, but if you are in production and you need you like some features of these plugins, you can definitely use them. Thank you so much for watching. Bye for now.